Debbie Dowling, and today I want to talk to you about high impact versus low impact exercises. Now, when I refer to high impact and low impact, I'm referring to cardio moves, and these are actually explosive cardio moves that you'll find in a lot of workouts, including my own, which are sometimes termed as plyometrics. And all the term plyometric means is an explosive body move, and what it's designed to do is to get your heart rate up. So instead of you thinking that you have to get out there and run a mile or walk for 20 minutes or ride your bike for an hour, whatever it is that you think you need to do to get your heart rate up, instead, I have you do plyometrics because they get your heart rate up in a shorter amount of time. And when your heart rate is up and then we add resistance training onto it, then you get quite the boost of the cardio burning fun and the calorie burning fun, which is all, which is exactly what we're going after and that helps us burn more calories and of course lose more weight which is what we're all after after all or at least helping us to keep what we have without gaining any more weight correct but part of the issue comes in when I use the term plyometrics or anybody does and you hear explosive moves you go I know <laughs> I can't do that, or you can only do a few of them, or you have knee issues or any number of things, or you just look at it and you go, I'm not doing that. No, 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 no. So let's take some of the basic moves, like a jumping jack or a jog. You can turn that into what I call a low impact version. Now, when you hear the term low impact, that doesn't mean low heart rate by any means. All that means is that we're removing that true in the air explosion, it doesn't mean that you're still not going to be putting a lot of power into that move or a lot of action into that move, nor that you will not be able to get your heart rate up because you really will. All I'm saying is that you're going to be keeping your body closer to the ground and you're not going to be jumping up and getting that jarring motion. Now, if you're able to do the plyometrics with air and you find them fun, I know I do and I do them upon occasion, go for it. But if you're one of those people who needs to keep it low impact, either A, because you're just getting started, or B, because you have some body issues and you can't do it, or C, you just plain don't want to jump, I'm going to show you ways that you can take some of these plyometric moves and turn them into a low impact version that pretty much anybody who is mobile can do. And let me show you how that works. And I'm back, and I'm now presto changeo in my sports bra. And I want to talk about the sports bra for a minute before we talk about going into these low impact exercises. And the reason for that is I am very, very, very adamant about this. Buy yourself a sports bra, buy yourself a sports bra, buy yourself a sports bra. It is one of the most important pieces other than a good pair of footwear that you can invest in and for your body. And that's because a sports bra is going to protect your chest and your girls need support no matter what your size. It does not have to look like this. I like to wear these long tank bras and mine's a little loose so you know when I get hot it breathes. You can get them at many, many different places. You do not have to spend an arm and a leg on them. Feel free to go to Target Champion has a great line of sportswear that you can purchase from Target and you can get a nice sports bra for around 20 some dollars. I don't care how many you buy, you can only buy one or whatever, it doesn't matter to me, but make sure you at least get one that fits and supports your girls. The reason I encourage you to do this is it, it drives me absolutely insane when I see women out there running or jumping and their breasts are going like this. You know you've all seen them and maybe yours are doing that. But what happens when your chest really moves like that, you're making all kinds of micro tears in the fibers along your breasts. And the problem with that is they don't repair. Those micro tears that you get will never repair themselves. So not only are the effects of gravity going to be dragging your chest down, the very act of creating these tears is, not, is going to cause your chest to fall down because the tissue is not going to be able to hold it up. Even if you build the muscle up here, your chest is still going to be falling down. So get a sports bra to help support you and help you keep your chest where it's at. And that's all I'm going to say on that subject. So let's talk about low impact versus high impact. And I want to show you some examples of how you can take a high impact move and change it into a low impact move. So let's take the jumping jack for an example. And we all know the jumping jack. It goes like this. It's a big huge move and you're jumping in the air and your arms are going up over your head and you can take them fast and you can take them slow just like this well what happens if you can't do a jumping jack like that for 
any reason from I don't want to to I have kids and I have a bad bladder and I just can't do that without peeing my pants and any other reasons in between. Well, what you can do then is you can take it low. So you get rid of that jar and I'm going to show you how you do that. And one of the easiest ways is to put your hands on your hips, bend your knees down and just take your legs out side to side. Now I know you can't see my legs, I'm sorry. I do not have a full video camera in my house. So you're just gonna have to bear with me. But you take your legs one at a time out to the side. And if you wanna make that harder for yourself, you just take it even lower. Bend your knees deeper. But if you have bad knees, you don't have to. And just have that little bend in your knee and see how I got rid of that jump. And it got rid of that jar. Now, there are ways to make this harder. And how you make a cardio move, a low impact cardio move harder, and I'll stop here for a minute, is you use your arms. The higher your arms are above your chest and over your head are going to indicate how much more difficult this exercise will be. The higher your arms up are, or the more elevated they are, the harder your heart is going to have to work. So, instead of being like this with your hands on your hips, you can take your arms straight out in front of you. Now see, if you do this on your own, you can feel your heart rate go up. Again, you can take it up over your head, harder still. And you can even add movement, just like you would a regular jack, and you're taking your arms up and over your head, just like this. And you can make these incredibly difficult for yourself all while getting no air. And you can hear me, and you can hear that I'm starting to breathe a little bit heavier because my heart rate has gone up from doing that. You can take that same principle into a lot of other exercise moves. For example, when you're told to jog in place and you can't do that, you can simply take that to a high knee march. And you can take it nice and slow and just pull your knees up now I can get my knees up pretty high and I can take them up to my chest, but if you can't get them there and you can only get them up a little bit, that's quite all right. And the same principle applies to your arms. You can hold them out, you can hold them up, you can do pull downs, you can just hold them still, you can bring your hands down. There's all these options and that's basically a jog in place. So think about that when you're thinking about when you're looking at these high impact moves, going, I can't do that. So another example that I will show you is a toe jump. And for a toe jump, you stand with your legs hip distance apart, and you kind of squat down. You're gonna see me go down here, and you touch your toes, and then you jump up in the air. Okay, so how would you take that and make that a low impact? It's the same move, you take it down, and then you lift up all the way onto your toes. And if you can't go down that far, go as low as you can and lift up. Start reaching your arms down, start lifting them up. Add these little pieces on. Pretty much any exercise that you can think of that has that explosive movement, you can make it a low impact version. And it is much easier on your body and on your joints and you are going to get just as strong of a workout just as hard as a workout as if you did those plyometric moves with air and made them explosive. I hope you found this little video helpful for you. And if you have any questions or if you have any moves that you would like to see broken down and have me explain them specifically, how you can make those a low impact version that you're not quite clear on, go to my Facebook page. It's facebook.com backslash over 40 and still hot and post your question there and I'd be more than happy to create a video and show you how to do that move. Until then, have a great day and I'll talk with you soon.